Pastor, you okay. mentioned that, uh, you know, Paul mentions a statement that you know, he uses the term about being baptized for the dead mm -hmm. to actually support his argument regarding mm -hmm. the fact that there will be a resurrection. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that it's not wrong to you know, have a baptism for someone who uh, may not have been, become a Christian? So I say, for example, someone's parents, uh, they have become converted and uh, are good Christians, they've been baptized, but say the mother has not been and just before her death, maybe she says, okay, I believe in Jesus and he wants to be baptized in her name. Is that something that is uh, allowed since Paul did not disprove of it? Disapprove of it? Interesting. Yeah, interesting question. Paul is uh, interestingly very uh, silent and uh, he doesn't, uh, you know, uh, tie the loose ends there. Uh, uh, a couple of uh, points about this question. The first one is that the understanding that baptism is a need for salvation uh, is not uh, biblically supported robustly. Okay, there are there are there are words unless you're born of uh, water and spirit, but uh, the way you exegete that verse is different, and so it's not a requirement for salvation. Okay. And uh, the second one is, as I told you, there were some mystery religions around the place of Corinth, which baptized their dead. Mm -hmm. And apparently the people in the Corinthian church either uh, affirmed it, uh, perhaps at, at, at a, an intellectual ascent level, or they perhaps uh, even practiced it. Uh, I doubt the second option, but perhaps they... They, they were open-minded about the others doing that, okay, as a cultural practice. So Paul is speaking here, uh, if I may, uh, in a very sarcastic tone. He's not affirming the practice of uh, baptism for the dead, but he is using their own argument and affirmation of a cultural practice that was perhaps found outside, which these people were sympathetic towards, and saying, hey, just for argument's sake, you know, if you are saying baptism for the dead is okay, right, then aren't you, uh, I mean, for resurrection, uh, aren't you affirming the resurrection? Okay. So, so it's, it's uh, I, I don't know if I was able to clearly communicate my idea, but uh, uh, I, I, was it helpful at all? What I said, or no, do you I want me to reconstruct? I think if you say that he was sarcastic about it, that may be an argument because otherwise it looks like he is using that to support his argument regarding resurrection. And therefore, it will be something that it's uh, definitely not negative. It's either non-negative or positive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, it's, so, so it's kind it of a so, so if, you if you're saying that it's more of a sarcastic way of saying it, I think that makes sense. Okay, so so that could be one way to look at it. I don't have, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if there's an exclamatory mark in some of the modern uh, Bibles after that particular statement. Sometimes when Paul is sarcastic and it's translated, there is usually an exclamatory mark at the end of that particular verse. Uh, I can check that for you later. Uh, yeah, like the second thing... We not mere men or something like Exactly. He talks about someone going after Apollo, someone going after Paul, and so on. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe that's the yeah, that's a good thing. Otherwise, I, I was, I mean, it doesn't seem to have been in the church at all. I mean, as, no, as no, far no. as I know, yes. this baptism of uh, for the dead. But yes. uh, Paul mentions it, and he mentions it in an apparently positive way. That's what my yeah. only worry. Okay. Yeah, Thank he's, you. he's not concluding it, he is not affirming it, or he is not vehemently opposing it uh, either. Yeah. That's a good observation, sir. Thank you.